Shall we? Can we just take a minute, actually? <laughs> because we all look so beautiful, and I was admiring you all as you all walked through the door. So let's just take that, that minute to look how lovely everybody is. Sorry. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so before we go any further, what has it taken for you all to be here this evening? Anybody thought that they had plenty of time on their hands today and it had it all planned out? You were all organised, but five minutes before you were due to leave, your dog threw up on the carpet, you managed to put your finger through your tights, um, and he nearly had a cardiac arrest trying to put on your spanks. Um, just me then. <laughs> Maybe you've had a glorious day um, and everything was running smoothly, but like me, you still managed to be late. Um, apologies for that. It's amazing, isn't it, that even as you sit in here now, I can imagine there are amazing women amongst you that are still trying to send emails because you're on a deadline. And despite the fact that you have delegated to your team, even though you are at the National Business Women's Awards finals, that they didn't quite step up to the mark and you've had to send those deadline emails because that's just what you do, isn't it? But you see, just what we do as women in business is quite extraordinary. And just like you, I have experienced the highs and lows in all, a variety of industries that I've been blessed to work in. And in fact, tonight and seeing the students perform so beautifully for us to open the evening. It reminds me of my role as Miss Sally, preparing my performers to take to the stage for their moment of glory in the spotlight. But trust me, I'm up here now presenting to you all, but I much prefer to be in the wings. I'm more comfortable there, because I'm quite shy. Honestly, I am. I am quite shy. I am. <laughs> um, because you see, in business, it's just like opening night in the West End for me. Years of training to be considered good enough for your role. Then you finally get your lead part, but then the hard work really kicks in. Months and months of rehearsals, when you never think that you'll be ready, you make mistakes, you have setbacks, there's plenty of blood, sweat and tears. Does this sound familiar to anyone in business? But you have this incredible cast and crew. They're all sat with you right now, I'd imagine. And they are the people that pick you up. They are the ones that take you out for a lunch and maybe a bottle or two of wine. Again, that might just be me. Um, they put you back on your feet so you can get going again and you restore your faith and confidence. You work through the injuries and exhaustion. You push comfort zones. Imposter syndrome. Did anybody have imposter syndrome today? Anyone? Anyone? Just me again, is it? Okay, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll warm up, we'll warm up, that's fine. <laughs> Many harsh critics I know that we face in business. And then on opening night, before you know it, it's there, it's ready. You've been told you're ready. It's time for you to step into the spotlight. And you're probably feeling very nervous right now. But despite your fear, you step onto the stage or the business arena, and you're amazing. In fact, you're really bloody amazing. You are good at what you do. The audience love it. Most of the critics love it. Your cast and crew are with you, and they are enjoying every moment of the success that you've got. It's inevitable you will probably beat yourselves up over the tiniest mistake and you're hypercritical, but we're women, we'll get used to that. But you knew you had it in you the whole time. That voice in your head, that gut feeling, that vision that you've had for however many years, months, weeks, minutes, hours. But just like any good West End show, the good thing is, as the leading lady, you get a chance to do it all over again. 
and again and again, if you choose. So whatever industry you are in, I hope you can relate in some way. Whether you take to the stage tonight or not, it doesn't really matter. Sorry if that's just a, a mic bomb moment, you know, drop. But it doesn't matter whether you have to step up onto this stage because the very fact you are in this room right now amongst these extraordinary women is a really massive win. So please applaud yourself for that. So be proud of the fact that you are the leading lady in your own story. You can and should rewrite your script as many times as you like, because it is your choice and it is your script. So together, this evening, with your amazing cast and crew that are sat beside you, please, please champion one another. Yes, yes, oh, yes, good, good, yes. <laughs> Celebrate your success. You've already had just to be here. Please share your stories. I know I've been imploring you all via LinkedIn and Instagram, but it's really important that everybody understands your story. So please share it freely. And this is your evening for everybody. And personally, with every performance, gala show, award ceremony, my very favorite thing is always the after show party. So you will see me at the bar afterwards. And if any of you are here on your own, please come and say hello to us. I'm on table four with these magnificent women down here. Please just come and say hello. No one is on their own this evening. We are all here together. So thank you, ladies. And thank you, everybody, and gentlemen. I'm so sorry, I feel like I'm leaving you out, but really, it's not your night. Let's be honest. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> so it's an honor to be the ambassador for this incredible award, and I have such faith and belief in the awards and you as individuals. So please have a fabulous evening. Good luck to you all. You know I already think you're amazing. Um, and as we say in the theatre world, break a leg, but probably not on these stairs if you don't mind. So just good luck, everybody. Have a fabulous evening. Thank you so much. Yeah.